Good morning and welcome back to your weekend unboxing here on Gaming with ADHD, where today we're taking a look at Disney, The Haunted Mansion, Call of the Spirits game. Now, this was released in 2020 and features the Haunted Mansion, which is the popular attraction from the Disney theme parks. In the game, you and your players are going to be traveling around the board, interacting with the different ghosts that uh, inhabit the mansion and trying to gain more points by interacting with the ghosts, but you're trying to also avoid becoming too haunted as that can cause you to lose points. Uh, and at the end of the day, you're trying to be the person with the most points. Now that's really all I know about the game, pretty much what you get on the back of the box, but let's go ahead and take a look at what you get inside. I've never played this before, so this is just going to be kind of our first impression. What do we think of the game and go from there? So before we do all of that, do make sure that you are subscribed to the channel, like the video, um, do all those fun YouTube things because it does help the channel grow and get out there a little bit more. And uh, also down below, if you'd like to follow us, uh, you know, in other social media, we do have links to Twitter and Facebook, which if you want to follow us there, that would be great also. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and take a look at the game. So first off, um, it has a fantastic presentation. Um, you have the three ghosts that uh, are the hitchhikers. So if you've ever been to the attraction, uh, it is one of my wife and I's favorite just uh, just for the fun about it, and uh, at the end of the game, these uh, these hitchhikers show up, and uh, and actually through the use of uh, holograms, actually sit in the cart with you. So uh, it is kind of fun that they show up. Um, I do like the presentation; it's a nice matte box, but then they have a gloss finish uh, or spot varnish on the ghosts. Um, on the back, we have description of all of the contents. Obviously, we've got, we're going to have lots of cards and our game board. And obviously, we've got a few miniatures, so that's cool. But let's take a look at our contents. Oh, that's fantastic. All right. So again, if you haven't been to the attraction, one of the first things, uh, because most of it actually takes place underground, so you need to get there by an elevator, and they've actually done that with this room that, um, as you stand in, it starts to descend and the walls stretch, and uh, so they've reprinted this here, and I'm curious if this is actually part of the game. I don't know, but regardless, this is just, this is just fun. I like this for the box alone. Uh, but basically, this is you standing in the elevator um, or the room looking straight up to the ceiling. So that's, oh, that's great. <clears throat> All right, we've got our instructions. Uh, looks like eight pages, including the cover, so not a lot. Um, description of our contents. Set up. So the rules do not look complex. Uh, it does say it's for uh, six players, uh, ages eight and up. So theoretically, this is going to be good with small players as well. Um, you know, nice large text. So this is this is not going to be difficult to figure out. At least I hope. As I drop everything all over the place. All right. So this is interesting. So we've got. This circle here. All right, so these are the different rooms in the mansion. We've got the graveyard. We've got the entrance hall, the ballroom. They've got the organ. That's fantastic. Um, the organ, uh, which, uh, fun piece of Disney trivia, um, was the prop in uh, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, and they actually moved it into the Haunted Mansion at Disneyland. So that's kind of fun. But yeah, so they've got the ballroom there, uh, the, the graveyard outside the Haunted Mansion, 
Uh, I'm not sure. Oh, this is the attic right here. So yeah, they are absolutely catching. This is more of the ballroom, uh, but they are absolutely catching the the actual room and you know places that you interact with. Uh, well, observe, I should say. They've got some nice art here on the back. This is really good. Um, Funko and Prospero Hall have been... They have been knocking it out of the park lately. Um, all right, we've got... I'm guessing these are like haunt trackers. I don't know. Let's look at the instructions real quick. I know. Nothing but professionalism during our unboxing. Bidding dials. Okay. Obviously, the, it's going to take reading the instructions to understand what everything is for, but we've got these different bidding dials. These are, these are put together very nice. The fact that they are assembled. Um, nice, heavy cardboard. Um... Oh, okay, so this obviously is going, so there's two layers, so this is going to sit into that circle area in the game board. Uh, this is uh, Madame Leota, the headless uh, fortune teller <clears throat> in the house, and so obviously this will spin around as you play. Not quite sure... What all is going on? Okay, what is this? Oh! I actually really like that. So, they give you a, a box for all of these small cards. So let's take a look at these real quick. Is it... So, if you've watched any of my other unboxings, I tend to get very excited when a game includes like baggies or other things to store your uh, your components in and to do something like this just a little box and then also to theme the box that is that is fantastic so it looks like these are these are probably just like your your point cards um, for interacting with all the ghosts because they're just all numbered one to three um, but regardless this little box Number one, looks good. Looks like a little grave mausoleum kind of thing. And is put together very, very well. Now, I picked this up at Target. It was on clearance. So, you know, and most of the games at Target are usually in like the, well, yeah, usually like the $30 to $40 range. So, uh, I don't remember what I paid for it. But, honestly, this is, like, like I said, Prospero Hall has been knocking it out of the park. They do good games. Um, I've, I've enjoyed all of them that I have played so far. And um, they, they just have fantastic production quality. I, I can't fault them on that. Anyway, so, okay, so lots of, lots of, repeats um these are gonna there's a lot of things going on here um so i believe these are probably the different ghosts that you'll interact with um because everything in the haunted mansion uh attraction is some sort of a ghost so uh like there are representations of someone who has died um, but yeah, so the art is on this is really good. I'm actually kind of surprised I haven't... I haven't gotten this to the table yet. Or my wife hasn't made me get it to the table. Um... It's been one of those years. <laughs> All right, so we've got some 
reference cards. Always good when a game is going to in include reference cards. And the fact that it's the same on both sides. So, uh, just in one per color, depending on which color you're playing. These are more of the same for the ghost cards. Okay, so that's good. Alright, so we've got the ghosts. Now bear with me for just a moment. I can't tell... Because I can't get it dark enough, but I was hoping that these glow glowed in the dark. Um, you know, overall, they look good. Um, but you can't see a lot of detail. I think I'm going to have to hit these... Just hit these with a light wash. To kind of pick out some of the detail, and I think that'll be fun. So, anyways, but these are the three hitchhiking ghosts. Floating candlestick. And then the individual player tokens. So, I'm not quite sure. Because they look like they have like an old man head, but then they're bats. So I'm not entirely sure what's going on here. But these are all identical, one per player. Probably hit these with a small wash too. Um, anyways, but that is, that is everything. So, it looks, like I said, it looks like it's a game more aimed at the smaller crowd. Um, but to be honest with you, I think that's okay. Um, I've been, you know, adding a few more of those kinds of games to my collection, uh, now that I have my own kids married, um... And, uh, you know, so theoretically grandkids coming soon. So I'm enjoying the fact that I've got some games that are good for smaller people as well. Um, all this one looks like it's going to be good for pretty much all ages also. So um, regardless, that's our first look at uh, The Haunted Mansion. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Again, make sure you subscribe to the channel and share it out with someone who you think might enjoy it. So... Thanks so much for watching, and we will talk to you next time.